All right, she's had some time to sit now. Looks like part of her eye is a little bit, it's got some of the dust on it. So I'm gonna go in with my rubber tip tool. Just kind of clean that off. <laughs> so we don't want that. We don't want it in the paint either, for sure. Okay, so now uh, we're just gonna put some color on her and then add color as well to help adjust any of the sculpting if it needs to be um, straightened or just emphasized or whatever. We can do that with our paintwork as well. These eyes are so darling. I need to find a new eye source. So the source I used to use doesn't carry the small ones anymore. Okay, now she's ready to start. Okay, I'm also gonna work on getting a second, a second uh, phone or camera set up so I can get more angles because I keep having, having little issues of moving out of the, out of the uh, camera frame. Okay. So I'm going to start with my, um, just kind of my blushing color, which is kind of up here and kind of over here. I'll do it right here so you can see. Uh, but again, usually the blush I use is a mix of um, Genesis Pyrrole Red 5 or 6 and Genesis Flesh six or five, somewhere in there too. Okay, now those eyes are gonna get kind of smudged for a little bit as I put the paint on, but then we'll go through and make sure they are all cleaned up too when we're finished here. Okay, let's see what I need. Need to have some of this glazing gel now nearby. So I'm just going to be picking up the same kind of color that's kind of all over on this. I want to add some to her cheeks, to her lips, especially. And on the forehead. And then also on the eyes, all around the eye area. That just helps to kind of shadow it a bit. And then I also want to make sure I get her lips a little bit darker each time. So I'm going to add this, and I think this color looks good over here. Just looks like a peachy pink kind of color. Oh, she's so freaking cute. Her poor little arm. I better put that down because that looks kind of painful. <laughs> that needs to be repaired too. I need to sculpt her another hand, which I'll do in a bit. That looks pretty good. I want it a little bit rosier, so I'm going to add. It looks like a pink that I've added a little bit of crimson to, too. Okay, and that's enough for now because I don't want to have it be too thick. Just want to add tiny little washes. Okay, but I am going to go kind of around the side of the nose, a little bit more with these eyes. You can even go up 
and the nostrils with just kind of the blushing just to add a little bit of shadow. And then I'm going to try her little, I don't know what you call these right here, but these little creases, I'm going to see how they look a little darker or if that just is too much, you know? So I've got to grab this bigger paintbrush, kind of lighten it up. Let's see what I think. I think we'll mess around with it more with the next layer. I also want to add just a little bit more of the pink right here. Sometimes I'll use like a really thin layer of a red color and then just kind of dab it on like that. Oh, she's going to be so cute. Man, she gave me a struggle there for a bit was also easy and then it was not for a bit. It started being very not easy. Okay, now I'm gonna hit this with a heat gun and I'm gonna move the tool away so it doesn't melt. So I'll just do that for a couple minutes. All right, so I did that for uh, about a minute or two and you can see how it ends up being more of a matte look and it's not shiny anymore. That's how you know um, it's been heat set. And then you want to wait until this is cool again and then you can put on the next layer of paint. While I'm waiting for her to cool, I'm just going through kind of cleaning up those eyes. Just by rubbing off the little bits of Genesis paint that gets on them and makes them kind of cloudy. Probably have to do this a couple times before I'm done here. But I like to keep them nice and shiny. Okay. Let's see, I think we're going to do a little bit more on the lips. Okay, let's see. I think I'm going to do a little bit more of this color for the lips. Let's see how that goes. Just added a little bit of the glazing gel to it because that just softens it right up and gets it ready to put on again. Now typically the upper lid will be slightly darker than the lower lid and that's usually because the sunlight will hit the lower lid and so there'll be a reflection. Lower lid, lower lip is what I'm meaning to say on both of those. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And then I want a bit darker inside there. Let's see, I'm going to go for, this looks a little bit darker perhaps. Just going to add more dimension to it that way too. Just using a darker red, kind of a rose red color. That's probably enough on the lips for now until we get them set again. Oh, so cute. All right, and then I've got a little bit of a darker color here, except that's going to make it too red. So let me switch. All 
And I think what I want here actually is a little bit of brown mixed in. So I'm just going to dip this over into my brown, even though there's a bunch of pink on it. Just letting that kind of just mix on in. Okay, and then what I want to do is line the eye. I keep having little hairs all over me, but I'm holding a little furry baby bunny doll, so I guess that's to be expected. What do you have, Soph? You okay? Okay. She's bored. I need to get him some bones to chew on. Okay. So I'm going to do that and then take this one to kind of wipe away a little bit, actually. Darken that just a touch. Uh, you're okay, sweetie. Just a touch here, too. Just soften that up. All right, and I also want to add just a little bit more shadow down here, too. This is going to be back to that browny pink. With babies, it's different because they don't wear eye makeup, really, you know? When you're doing an older doll, you can just use makeup the way we would on our own faces. But on the babies, on the guys, too, that aren't wearing makeup, they uh, you just want to focus more on shadow. So I go back in with my other brush to kind of wipe away anything I didn't want there and soften it too. We're about ready to go under the knife again. Under the knife, under the gun, under the heat gun. Okay, but before we do, I'm gonna see if I can use this brush. If not, I'll switch to a smaller one. But what I'd like to do now is just give her a little bit of eyebrow. And at this point, I'm just kind of just kind of dotting it in there a little bit so I can kind of see where it's going to go and what shape I want to do exactly. Just little bits at a time like that. And then you can take your rubber tip tool 
and just kind of draw some lines in there too. Just like that. That looks super cute. 